Let's begin a clinical visit. John, a 70-year-old man, comes to emergency room because of blurry vision and excessive fatigue. The patient was diagnosed pneumonia two days before. He has a long-standing history of the diabetes mellitus and hypertension. Ophthalmoscopic examination revealed cataract on right eye. Which of the following substance produce cataract formation in this patient? Today, I'm going to discuss about the sorbitol formation and how sorbitol uh, lead to the different uh, damage of the different organs. So what happened the normally glucose is converted to the sorbitol by enzyme aldose reductase. And because this sorbitol is a uh, damage the different organs. So the body has another enzyme, sorbitol dehydrogenase. So this sorbitol is converted to the fructose to prevent the different organ of the body from the osmotic damage that is induced by the sorbitol accumulation. So liver, seminal vesicles and ovaries have both enzyme, aldose reductase reductase and sorbitol dehydrogenase so any condition like diabetes mellitus where the chronic hyperglycemia so the uh, ex, sorry, excess glucose is converted to the sorbitol and this excess sorbitol is converted to the fructose so these cells liver seminal vesicle and ovaries are prevented by sorbitol induce osmotic damage but the but other cells like lens retina kidney and shavan cells they have only the aldose reductase enzyme. So, in case of the diabetes, what happened? They cannot convert the extra sorbitol into the fructose, and there is induction of the osmotic damage by the sorbitol. Like in case of the lens, it will lead to the cataract. In case of the retina, sorbitol induce osmotic damage lead to the retinopathy and in case of the kidney it will lead to the nephropathy and in case of the shaman cell the osmotic induced damage by the sorbitol lead to the peripheral neuropathy